can be quite disappointing. Some from stealing to our advantage. Hello folks, Exeter Rider, hope you're doing well. I seem to have somehow lost the intro file I filmed for this video, so quick voiceover. So this is me riding a Euro motorcycle uh, in the sidecar at the ABR Festival June 2023. It's a video that I've been looking forward to putting out because it's something different and I do like a bit of variation on the channel just to break up the reviews a little bit. So I uh, hope you enjoy the video. And first of all, I run through uh, how the bike works with the chap that uh, took me on the bike before I go out on it. So thanks in advance for watching. Can you just, have you got time to take me through the bike? Yeah, just sure. quickly. Uh, controls, uh, can you show me how it works and I'll show them. Right, controls largely um, are conventional motorcycle controls. Yeah. With the exception of one or two add-ons. So up here, clutch normal, all the lights and indicators normal, parking brake. Oh yeah, that separate caliper sense. on the rear disc operated by a cable that holds the bike. Rear static. disc on the, on both sides or disc sidecar disc rear bike disc front. Right, yeah. Three independent hydraulic systems with the rear brake and the sidecar brake connected mechanically by a mechanical linkage. Oh yeah, oh I see. Yeah. So, the event of losing one system is still got two more. Yeah. Quite a lot of redundancy. So when you break on that, they're, they're both the same power, obviously. Yes. Yeah. But you can adjust bias. But we prefer a slight bias to the sidecar. Okay. In that if you're going down a hill, normally to help you turn to the left, you put a bit of throttle on. Yeah. But if you're going down a hill, you might not want to put throttle on. Therefore, what you do is you have more bias than the sidecar brake. Apply a dab of brake, the sidecar brake comes on quicker. Yeah. And the outfit trundles round to the left with the sidecar brake system. And I noticed that you've got a kickstart on here as well. Mm, yeah. Very much a decor decoration. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a throwback to the old days when kickstarts were used all the time. Can you imagine back in the day when UK bikes didn't have electric starts? How interesting it must be to try and kickstart the bike with your foot in there. Yes. Yeah. Um, especially if it kicks back. Especially yeah. if it kicks back. And what's all this about here? What's it? Well, that's reverse gear. Okay. So reverse gear and first gear are interconnected. Yeah. So when you come to a halt in first, hold the clutch in. You don't have to find neutral. You depress this pedal and you feel two two clicks. Yeah. That's you straight into reverse gear. Open the throttle, let the clutch out, and go straight back. Where are they made to? Yeah. Manufactured. Manufactured. Sorry. Yeah. Kazakhstan. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah. So Russian heritage. Yeah. Obviously, the war in Ukraine has really put the kibosh on all of the Russian operation. Yeah. Um, so shortly after the beginning of the war in Ukraine, we had a very difficult decision to make. What to do? Yeah. And in order to remain trading, we decided that we would move the factory and we moved the factory lock, stock and barrel from Russia to Kazakhstan in three months. Oh really? Let's get going. Right, and price-wise, what we're we looking at, are there different models? Yeah, different you, you things, start or? off with a base model, uh, which is you know, the bike, the sidecar and, and, and all the standard parts of the machine. Um, are included in the price, so you still get selected in two wheel drive, you still get the reverse gear, you still get the off road capability that any of the other bikes have, yeah. but you have less accessories. Right, I see. Is this a box standard bike or is no, it? No, this is what we would call uh, it's an accessorized one, more or less to adventure package spec. Yeah. Um, Matt and Reese can tell you more of the details about the individual packages, but the base model comes in at about 24. Oh, yes. 20 so. to 245 on the road. Yeah. Um, and then what we call the standard, um, which is our, our normal package, includes spare wheel, rack, jerry can, shovel, front bumper, fog lights, um, none of the windshields, though. Yeah. Um, comes in at that slightly higher price. You get yeah. a good deal of value for money with that. I was going to say, it does seem cheap for the wheel alone. Yeah. Is something like 800 quid. Is it? Uh, 
just for the wheel. Why is that? Why is it, is it a special size? Or? It is a special size. There are very few bikes these days running 4 by 19 uh, inch tyres. Right. And I guess they're load rated as well, are they, those tyres? Or? Yeah. Heavy duty, um, if you look. Um, they are 71p load rated tyres. Um, I can't remember what that maximum load is off the top of the head. It's something like 350 kilograms. Yeah. Um, and that is very specific to this kind of machine, fully laden. Right, yeah. This fully laden with you know, two people on here, perfectly legally, one yeah. in there, perfectly legally. That's all their kit and caboodle uh, will be up into the 650 kilogram. Right, yeah. Weight. Yeah. Over half a ton. Yeah. Well over half a ton just for you and me. Yes. Yeah. Which is happening soon. Which is happening soon. Yeah. But luckily I've slimmed down over the weekend anyway, okay. so it should okay. be okay. We're marginal. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, thanks very much. And I'll catch up with you soon. Yeah. Alright. No problem at all. Alright, thank nice you. Talk to you. And just relax. Relax. I'll try. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is a good feeling already. Good. Everybody just left. Just keep smiling. Yeah. Smile through the pain. <laughs> no pain yet. Okay, as I once famously said. Um, whilst this may look like a motorcycle, smell like a motorcycle, taste like a motorcycle, um, it's not. Right. It's a motorcycle with a sidecar. Yeah. The sidecar bit changes the dynamic of the motorcycle bit. Um, basically you ride this bit like you ride a motorcycle. Yeah. But the difference is, with that attached, how riding the motorcycle bit becomes changed by the sidecar. Yeah. Yeah. And quite simply, it's because the whole thing is asymmetrical. You only have the sidecar on one side. Therefore, guess what? It's going to handle differently to the left yeah. than it handles to the right. Do you want me to give you any input? Do I need to lean into it or anything? Or? No, not necessarily. We'll talk about that a bit later on. Yeah. You know, at low speed, um, not too difficult terrain. You know, you, moving your weight around helps. Yeah. But it doesn't necessarily help to a large degree. As right. speed builds up, of course, or the terrain becomes more challenging, then moving your weight around in the sidecar will make a difference. Yeah. And if you look at it this way, to put it as simply as possible, if we are turning to the left, lean to the left. Yeah. If we are turning to the right, lean to the right. Yeah. The faster we're turning, the further out you can go, the better it is for me. But at the end of the day, I'll always ride within the limits of the machine. Yeah. Um, whether you lean or you don't lean, it's not a problem. What I like is that I feel like I'm part of the ride as well. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm helping you. If Absolutely. I help you, then we're going to have a better ride, aren't we? Yeah, you are part of the ride. You know, the more proactive you are, the better it is yeah. for both of us. Um, but of course, if, if you are an elderly person and not so able to move around, A, I would ride at a slower speed and make the whole thing more comfortable. And B, I would just ride it in a less dynamic fashion, yeah. so that both parties could still have a good trip. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Now, You're not going to go off on the two wheels enough, are you? <laughs> no, I don't mind no I'm not going to do anything untoward here. I'll let you know before I do anything untoward. Yeah, yeah. The point about these things is, you've only got 42 horsepower. You've mean? only got four forward gears. Right. You've got one reverse gear and you've got selectable two-wheel drive. Yeah. But for all you've only got 42 horsepower, you've got stacks of torque. Yeah. And it's the torque you drive these things by, not revs. Yeah. So, one of the uh, oddities of sidecar riding is we use a thing called 
throttle steer. Right. Now, what the hell does that mean? It means that when I open the throttle, oh, the yeah. outfit goes <laughs> to the left. When I shut <laughs> the throttle, the outfit goes to the right. Now, obviously, if I start doing that repeatedly, increasingly hard, at some point, the outfit will start to slide away, break away, yeah. and you can get yourself into difficulty. <laughs> I over-exaggerate everything to show effect. Yeah, 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 you what carry on. using the throttle in a turn does is it drives you dynamically through the bed. Yeah. It's not a passive thing. Braking now. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Most motorcyclists. Keep an eye on your mic a minute. It looks like he's trying to anchor. Yep. Are we able to? Okay. Do you want me to quickly do it? Hang on a minute. Yep. Yep. So braking then. So I'll lean if you grab a handful of front, that's what happens. Oh yeah. And why? Because the only part of the bike that's slowing down when you apply the front brake is that. The rest of it wants to keep going. Yeah. And because you've got all this mass on the left side, that mass moving forwards, the resultant is the sidecar outfit wants to go to the right. Yeah. On tarmac, if you've got good traction, you'll go sharply right, straight into oncoming traffic. Yeah. Can be quite disappointing. So what do we do? We use the rear brake and the rear brake pedal. Oh, I see connected to the sidecar brake, operated by the same pedal. Yeah. So what? In an emergency, we can use the phenomenon of splitting braking from steering to our advantage. Now, come over the crest of this hill, and say we use rear and sidecar brake, on my brake, blip the throttle down into second gear, over onto the gravel. Oh my goodness, an emergency! Hey. And I can steer as well. Bloody hell, look at that! <laughs> now I don't have to turn to the right. Yeah. It just happens to be the safest way to turn um, in an avoidance manoeuvre. But if I wanted to avoid something there, I would just steer left. Yeah running the risk of, yes, lifting the sidecar wheel, but that risk is probably a lot less than hitting something. Yeah. So you can brake as hard as you like and still steer, providing that front wheel is not being used as a braking wheel. On this track, we'll do hard conventional braking on rear, on front. And that way, we avoid the phenomenon of the, the outfit wanting to whip round to the right because we are starting the braking manoeuvre with the rear and sidecar brake. Yeah. So the combined brake force of three, three brakes, three tyres in contact with the road is well up to dealing with the 500 plus kilograms that we represent. Okay, so far, yeah, 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 fantastic. You know what, it's a really comfortable seat actually as well. It's, it's not bad. I mean, this, this, still is, this is a me, motorcycle, it's, it's a motorcycle track, yeah. Normally I wouldn't select something like this to show a motorcycle sidecar's capabilities, but it's the best we've got and we'll make the best of it. So, point about riding these things, whether it's on-road, off-road, tarmac or whatever, you're trying to do it progressively. That doesn't mean slow, but it does mean you're not kind of operating the controls jerkily. Everything as smooth as possible, braking as smoothly as possible, opening the throttle as smoothly as possible, closing the throttle as smoothly as possible, gear shifting as smoothly as possible. <laughs> that way, you have a chance of understanding what it is I'm doing and what it is I'm going to do. And, as you'll see in a minute, you can then become an active participant as opposed to just a passenger. So you think back to what we talked about now, in terms of leaning left when yeah. we're going left, and leaning right when we're going right, 
we're going to start putting that into practice once we've done this descent. Now the point of descending in one of these, particularly on grass and if it's been wet, which thankfully it hasn't been, is that if you go too fast and you stamp on the rear brake and you lock the rear and sidecar wheels, you're basically riding a 500 kilogram sledge, right, yeah. which can be quite disappointing. So over the, the humps and bumps, get off your brake. Now gear to the right, lean right, to the left, in this case, don't lean left, just sit in the middle. Oh, right, yeah. Because <laughs> if you don't lean left, what I can end up doing is lifting the sidecar. Yeah, yeah. Sit in the middle. There we go. <laughs> A little bit of flying there. Okay, now we'll start leaning left and right. Right, okay, yeah. Um, at Motorcycle Live, I do circuits of the car park on two wheels with a passenger. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's very difficult to do on grass because you've got very little grip. Okay, so running on a gently left-hand bend. Yeah. At the left hand. Lean left. Yep, lean left, lean left, lean left. Come right, come right, come right. I'll go over to the right-hand side. Bit more dynamic here. Come left, come left, come left. Good man. Come right. Up in the turn, on the rear is right. <laughs> Sit up straight, on rear, down in the second, down in the first, on front brake. And we come to a nice control. That was awesome. <laughs> so, last gallop home. We must have ridden up this hill 60 times. You can see we caused very little damage. Awesome experience, like nothing else that was. Yeah, brilliant, good, I'm glad you enjoyed it. If you ever get the chance, come out to Portugal and we'll show you what it does properly. Yeah. I mean, obviously our, our off-road rally sidecar is a little bit different to this, mainly in terms of suspension, uh, protection. How do they get hold of you? What's the website address? GustaMotorbikes.com. Yeah. Obviously, email address GustaMotorbikes at gmail.com. I do. You can also look up the EuralExperienceCenter.com and it will take you to the same place. We operate Ural's only official experience center on the planet. Right. Um, we live in the middle of Portugal. The riding is amazing. Um, we have homestay accommodation and on can the site. Ride the bike yes, as well, can't you? absolutely. Yeah. So we do experience days where you get hands-on, you learn all about them, and then we do adventure days on the back of the experience days, where we go further afield, let you get to grips with the machine in different terrain, really get a feel for what it can do and how it could fit into your lifestyle. Yeah. At the end of the day. We're not trying to prompt you to buy anything. We're prompting better understanding of these rather amazing machines. Yeah. Super. Thank you very much for that. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Thank you. Most Super. welcome. There you go, guys. How much fun was that? <laughs> it was a hilarious yet fun at the same time. Thank you. There it is, there's my ride. The lovely chap as well that took me around. I wasn't expecting to go up on two wheels, but that was exciting as well. So uh, fantastic. Thanks a lot to, to Euro for that ride out. Absolutely fantastic. Thanks to this young lady who got me in today. Really appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Out.
All right, guys, so I'll catch you next week at 4 p.m. on Sunday and uh, for another video. Thank you very much. Cheerio.